Over 2.25 billion cups of coffee are consumed per day, globally. However, the industry remains one of the most stagnant in terms of innovation, with roasters often opting to use 100-year-old plus cast iron machines. This machine, however, looks to change the way coffee beans are roasted, resulting in two to three times less energy use than traditional machines, and is done using only electricity rather than gas, typically used in standard roasters. In fact, the company behind the development of the machine, CEE, built up a coffee brand called Ray & Jules to demonstrate the effectiveness of the technology. But how is this achieved and how is it different? Standard coffee machines use the following step to roast beans. Once the roaster reaches 600 degrees Celsius, traditionally using natural gas, the beans are tossed for approximately 6 to 10 minutes, then left to cool before being removed to make room for the next batch. This is inefficient because the temperature of the machine is constantly heating and cooling. CEE's hyper-efficient continuous roaster has the beans horizontally transported through precision-controlled chambers with hot air that circulates several times at temperatures of up to 250 degrees Celsius. This is less than half the temperature needed by batch systems. The hyper-efficiency of the heat transfer process is clear. The machine is able to recover more energy and provides a stable energy consumption pattern as demonstrated in this graph made for prospects or customers. It reduces energy consumption, making it much easier to electrify the process and use renewable energy. This innovative machine was able to be developed thanks to tools from Siemens, like their digital twin software, Solid Edge, SimCenter, and NX. This enables modeling and complex simulations of the machinery to develop and fine-tune how the roasters will be built and fin the most efficient method for operating them. CEE can also use point cloud systems to 3D scan client sites for equipment positioning, planning, and installation.